Ramble. Thank you to Treat for sponsoring today's episode. Can I keep you? Welcome to Guilty <laughs> Pleasures. <laughs> the show. Awesome. God, that's a romantic line. How dare you? Oh. Welcome to the end of Spoopy Month here Ooh. at Guilty yeah. Pleasures. We've been doing a whole month of Halloween movies. Yep. And this week we put it to a vote on my Instagram at Corn Diddy. We said, mm. hey guys, what do you want to watch? Mm-hmm. You had a choice. We could have been watching The Faculty yep. with Usher. And what? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a fucking hell I've movie. Hey, maybe next year. But instead, <laughs> with a resounding 80 something percent, wow. we are watching Casper, the friendly ghost. The friendly boy. What's up, everybody? How are, you, how are you feeling today? How are, how, I how are you? I am glad that spooky season is fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. And we ended on such a perfectly spooky movie. Yeah. You got out easy this oh, year. We, did I? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I do recall dragging to hell. Oh, that's, yeah, but you got one of those. Okay. Right. You got right. one of those. We could have you had got, four. <laughs> that's, okay, fair enough. You got dragged to hell once. You got to o- oogle over, ogle over. Oogle? Oogle and <laughs> ogle. Oogle over uh, <laughs> Jennifer's body. Jennifer's body. <laughs> and then two children's. <laughs> did I make you snort? Yes. <laughs> Nice. Not that this is how to do Oogle. Oogle. Speaking Oogle. of Oogling, did y'all see Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian are engaged? Mm. I mean, good for them. I'm, I, I like how happy they I'm are so together. Happy. I like, like how happy they are together and um, MGK and, MGK MGK and, and uh, MF. And MF yes. You said Travis Barker, but I heard Charles Barkley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what a different what relationship. What a twist. Wow. Less age appropriate somehow. <laughs> Speaking of age appropriate, you want to talk about this movie? Let's get into Casper <laughs> the Friendly Ghost. I, Casper is one of my childhood VHSs. Oh, yes. I simultaneously remember everything and nothing about mm-hmm. the movie. I, I don't think I had seen it in 20 years, mm-hmm. which is painful to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, this it, is this is uh, Teacher Had a Hangover, Wheel in the TV <laughs> <laughs> classic. You know? Oh, my God. You just blew my mind making me think that my teachers had hangovers. Yeah, they had hangovers. They had hangovers. But that's not like, of course, the only reason why they would play movies. But I'm pretty I, no, sure like it's divorce, a big reason. No, like divorce, which is another horrifying to think that oh, thing, yeah. the thing my oh, teachers, that teachers are going lives? through. Yeah. yeah. I thought they just kind of turned on at 6 a.m. and they were in the chair. Mm-hmm. It's funny. For us, yeah. it was rainy days, but that was in New York. You grew up in L.A. There are no rainy there days. There are no rainy no. days. The teachers make their own rainy days. Yes, <laughs> yes they do. Yes, they do. Rainy day special. Wow. <laughs> they just wake up. You got to watch this in... High school, middle yeah. school. I also watch. I watched this and Just Friends. In high Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, those I'm were, sorry. Those are movies that were introduced to me in public school. That's so LA. Really? To You're be too- like, we don't care that they say sex and bitch yeah. in this movie. Well, just Just Friends was at the end of the school year, and I think that they're just like letting prepping loose. you for yeah. life. Kelsey, had you seen Casper? Um, a hundred times. Okay, but just like you, completely forgot everything yeah. about this movie. But I can say that Christina Ricci was An icon. S- such a huge part of my childhood. Yeah, yeah. From this to now and then, hmm. were like monumentally large. And that was in my, that was yeah. me realizing that girls were cute. Damn. Yeah. Wow. I With her say forehead. It was a- her forehead was adorable in Aww. my eyes. I don't. I wouldn't say it was like a sexual awakening, but it was just like I like these creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I do like these. An ones. emotional awakening. Yeah, so emotional sweet. awakening. Yeah. I mean, look, like she's gorgeous as an adult, but yes. as a ch- child, like she just was this perfect yeah. counterculture yes. childhood adorable, icon. Like Adam's emo. family, of course, she was in the Adam's family, but it's like an emo punk child, and yes. it was dope. And she was a great fucking actress, I think. Oh, yeah. And never too precocious. I fucking hate when, like, kids are written as adults and they yeah. just have lines that are too... Like, shut up. You know, you wouldn't talk like that. She she told that line in her roles where I always believed mm. her. Yeah. yeah, she acted like a kid. Yeah. She uh-huh. she was uh, she was blunt and mellow while also being childish, which was That's very nice. That's a great way to describe it. Yeah. Should I give a quick synopsis? Please. Let's do it. Let's see if I'm I I'm actually this. curious how you're going to give a synopsis because this is a thick plot line baby. yes how many c's are we putting on that listen how many c's <laughs> god r.i.p to my headphones the, the, uh, you yeah. started reaching for your armpits yeah, like, it somehow I... made my armpits itch it was <laughs> that loud oh. I, it crawled deep in my skin Sorry. fair enough casper uh-huh. is a friendly ghost yes, sure is. Is. and <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> End <Sorry>. of synopsis. <laughs> that's all. That's all you. That's need. all you really yeah. need to know. To be. Cat and her ghost therapist yes. dad yep. get brought into a haunted mansion uh-huh. so that a mean old lady. Uh, can steal a treasure and then they Casper falls in love with the girl and then they try and bring him back to life the end well yeah. you you can't forget the B plot which is da- grieving father it's who heavy who is yeah. a ghost therapist meets three bumbling ghost uncles that are Casper's uncles and they have their own like friendship um, story where they murder him. They yeah. murder her father. <laughs> I mean, um, there is like the, the overview of yeah. the plot is quite simple, but the details of the plot. It's not. Quite yeah. dense. Yeah. Then you got a C story with the realtor lady who buy, has the house and the, and then you got the D- E story with the fucking the e the two yeah. kids who want to yep. trash our girl yeah. cat's reputation right. screw them they're always yeah. it's always why why though know. we see them or we meet the the classmates mm-hmm. midway through the movie mm-hmm. what's their beef with her like is, is she's she from just, out of town she's, bro she's, of town. she's, she's the new dark. kid new okay. meat fresh this, meat this Not girl fair. is like the popular girl you can mm-hmm. tell she's the hot girl and she's threatened she's like holy shit do you mm-hmm. see that forehead it is gonna <laughs> dethrone me yeah the the size of a crown that you could yes. fit on that girl <laughs> but do you know what i liked about this version of the mean girl is nobody else fucking liked her yeah, like everybody the most else is popular like popular squirrel in school yeah. is like this girl is trash. She's she mean. She's like, who wants to go to my party? And everyone's it's, like, no, no one does. does. That scene, by the way, ends with one of my favorite gags of the movie, where Casper has been tying everyone's mm-hmm. shoes laces Love together. Mm-hmm. The bell rings. They everyone stands and falls flat on their face. Yep. Hard cut out. Love it. Comedy. Do you Love know it. what I wrote? At the very last of my prose, the group comedy acting done by these school children <laughs> is incredible. Yes. Do you know how hard that must have been yeah. to corral yeah. 30 plus children to do a on comedic a, on a bit? 10 hour day? Like, in the classroom, they all fall simultaneously at the same yeah. time. In the mansion, they all shriek, Scream hold for a th- hold for comedic effect, and then shriek again and run out of the building. Yeah. I mean, these I was like, bravo. I, I feel like to the Wrangler. Saw, the Wrangler, the child <laughs> the wrangler. Set wrangler. Oh, that sounds very bad. Yeah, that does sound bad. You <laughs> know what I meant, industry folks. <laughs> yeah. Um the, I mean, I feel like they saw the two kids screaming at the beginning. And they're like, this is just so fun. Yeah. I also want to scream. Yeah. And they're like, well, here's your chance. Yeah. And they probably did that on the same day. And all the kids oh, got yeah. jealous. And they were like, we want to scream too. Yeah. It's like, all right, we'll write something. They all got the- to wear costumes. The yeah. parents had to bring them to set in costume already. So fun. So, okay, I as we said, there is more plot to go yes, over. Yes, yes, but yes. instead, <laughs> There's of, a lot more yeah, plot we, to go Yeah, we dove over. a little deep right there. But instead of giving you the in-depth synopsis, I think we can just talk through the plot yes. as yes. we talk through some of our pleasures and guilt. So I'll start with this. Mm. Uh, something that I kind of totally forgot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Casper ain't just a friendly ghost. He's a little more than friendly. If you know He's what I mean. a horny ghost. He's Casper, a horny ghost. Casper the horny ghost. Casper is down to dog. fuck. Listen, yeah, yeah. he's supposed to be 12. Yeah. His voice makes him sound like he's four. Yeah. I felt incredibly uncomfortable. Those big cartoon eyes make him feel young. Yeah. I feel like this was the original Nemo where remember ah. that kid that played Finding Nemo like, or played Nemo in Finding Nemo? Like he blew up after he that. He did? Yeah. Everybody was like crammer, cameron? No. I clamoring. No. Clamoring. Clambering to work with that <laughs> child because his voice is just so pure. I feel like the exact oh. same thing happened with Casper's voice. Wasn't it an adult who a Casper? It was a child. I oh, looked it up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's uh, an adult now. He's yeah. Good for he, him. He became yeah, an adult. He became an adult. So Casper on TV sees this ghost therapist mm-hmm. and he sees his daughter. I don't know mm-hmm. why the daughter is in the news report, but Casper says, hubba hubba. I want a piece of that big eyed forehead girl. <laughs> <laughs> her, her face is just as big as mine. Yeah, she must be like oh, me. We need to stop. We are, soulmate. Soulmate. Look, look, we are bully, we're bullying a child, but she's an adult now and so she's a beautiful adult. adult. She's and, a she's beautiful adult. Rich. and she's and rich successful. and we love yeah. her. And she's hot as shit. Yeah, she's, she's super hot. So like, it's yeah. cool. I got big teeth and I know it. Yeah. I've, I you mean, I don't have any imperfections, but if I, I did, I'd be happy that, yeah. to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, no, you're pretty perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Take those goddamn glasses. Yeah. Off. <laughs> Show us those baby blues. I don't, know, and I don't know if anybody knows this on the podcast, but you, your listeners, but Zach has the most beautiful eyes wow. of all time and he just hides them behind his glasses. Mm-hmm. And it's, I've been talking about it mm-hmm. for a week. Yes, yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> Truly, you sound like Casper trying to fuck. 
Christina Ricci. I mean, yeah. his eyes look like Casper's eyes. Wow. When he came in, it came down as a real That's boy. That's true. When he came down as a real boy. He was a real boy. It's a Pinocchio thing. Who cares? Oh, Garrick? I thought you were talking about Zach. No, no, He no. became a real boy when he took off his glasses. No. <laughs> last week before we recorded, I, you know, I had contacts last week because I lost my glasses in the ocean. It was a whole thing. Garrick looks at me and he goes, are those colored contacts? And I go, no. And he goes, what the <laughs> fuck? Your eyes are beautiful. <laughs> what the fuck? It's true. They look brown. I'm looking right at yeah, them. They're not. They're the blue. They're dark blue, but they're blue. Oh. It, it doesn't even make any sense. Nobody has navy dark blue, blue eyes. eyes. My mom has navy blue That's eyes. That's sick. Me? It's weird. And Casper, the, the horny ghost. Yeah. Uh, so eyes. Casper, you know, he, he, he finagles. Yeah. He finds a way to get them to move into his house. Uh, and he does? Very manipulative. Yeah. He, so he goes through a TV wire uh-huh. and he tells... He somehow knows the address of the woman who's trying to find the treasure, and he convinces her to send them to his house. Oh! Yeah. But the whole first act of this movie I is basically that. like a will they, or first half really is like Casper. It's it's a rom com, right? Yeah. Are they friends? Yeah. Are they I, more? I think it's a it's a character study on uh, the ultimate friend zone, which is <laughs> between. <laughs> This life and the next. Yes. <laughs> I, I think the, the only reason why nothing happened is because he was dead. Can you imagine mm. dying mm-hmm. as a hormonal 12 year old and being a horny ghost? Can mm. you do you just like, okay? I mean, it sounds like hell. It yeah. sounds it like sounds they like were they purgatory. were all in hell. It's in yeah. purgatory, but sure, but I think that's hell. I'm just gonna <laughs> tell not you, even knowing what to do with all of that. Right. Dear listeners. Horny energy. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Around the 12 to 13 mark, mm-hmm. your balls drop. Oh, yep. yeah. I would know. They do. Yeah, <laughs> yep. You discover that playing with yourself feels good. Yep. If yep. you have a 12-year-old cousin, guess what they're doing? Jerking yep. off. They're figuring it out. Yep. Yep. And it's incessant. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say it. It never... It just, and he doesn't have a penis. Who says no. who? Where was oh, it? Oh, shit. It might have been inside him like the shape of water. What? Dude. Like a fucking cat? <laughs> <laughs> That's like cats too. Cats' yeah. dicks are inside them. And so are ducks. Right? Ducks, I can't even fucking talk about ducks. Ducks are dicks. fucking savages. Ducks, ducks are little dicks shit. Ducks have are pieces of shit. Spiral penises. They have spiral penises because a duck's oh, vagina vaginas. has trap doors. Yes. <laughs> and it has to, a duck's oh. penis has to explode yes. into the vagina and corkscrew ah, in order to dodge the trap door. You know about the counter corkscrew vaginas that have developed in ducks. As an evolutionary technique, female ducks have started developing mm-hmm. counter corkscrew vaginas to make it harder. Mm-hmm. And of course, what we were talking like, about. Take the fucking hint, guys. Okay, we, we keep getting derailed. Yes, uh, yes, yes. So, so they move in to the big scary mansion. <laughs> and I think one of my favorite parts is the introduction of the ghost characters. Because in the beginning, you get this crazy motley crew trying to uh exercise the ghosts out of this mansion and you get to see some fucking celebrities you get yeah. to see dan Aykroyd oh as, a as a ghostbuster ghostbuster hiding hiding the patch to as to not say yes! he's a ghostbuster but what is this but a disney he's movie? actually a is this ghostbuster a disney movie? Uh, no because so. it was amblin it's- which was Steven Spielberg's uh, company, and he refused to work with Disney for a while. I, I, we can look up who it was. Well, you get Dan, like, Dan Aykroyd right, running get, out of the house, and he goes, yes. he goes, you got to call somebody, somebody else. else. Hey, y'all, I'm excited to tell you about Treat, a new podcast from C13 Features starring Kiernan Shipka that brings you a brand new listening experience to your ears. And it's so good. Okay, it's one episode one story, one wild ride. It's literally like a movie experience, but in audio only, where you're gonna get completely lost within your own imagination while listening. It's a story and a listening experience, unlike anything I've ever heard. I think you're gonna dig it. It's so compelling and scary from start to finish. Right from the beginning of Treat, you will be transported to a perfect and charming town where we soon discover that nothing is quite as it seems. Over the course of one Halloween night, a group of teenagers are confronted by their hometown's hidden and sinister past. Can Allie West help save her family and their town from its evil roots and the mysterious is Piper. If you love suspenseful stories and scary thrillers like I do, you will love Treat, a new podcast movie from C13 Features, now available for free wherever you listen to your podcasts. Treat will change the way you listen to podcasts. Pretty good. Then love you it. get 
Uh, that guy from the golf movie. <laughs> this guy who talks like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Geez. Rodney Dangerfield. Thank you. Then, no, was it? Yeah, Rodney Dangerfield was in the mirror, as well as um, Clint Eastwood was in the oh, mirror. Okay. And Mel Gibson, which. Yes. Well, we I'm going to tell you, that, time time has changed. Yeah. yeah. You know, all a, those a men 20 something years ago, yeah. we yeah. had Mel he's Gibson. Doing, he's doing fine. He's in the fucking John Wick prequel. Oh, it's so don't, crazy. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, he can just call people packs of stuff on Listen, that set that anti i'm just gonna say on the record for the record fuck you mel gibson okay. <laughs> well so you get all of those people in this amazing like arguably maybe perhaps too long i would say it's about a 20 minute sequence of once the family arrives at that or cat and her dad arrive at the house you get this amazing beautiful like intricate set comedy that introduces the ghost to cat and her dad uh but like it's so fun where the house becomes this big character yeah. and the ghosts are caricatures of like goofy men and then you get cat and dad getting spooked all over the place like oh my gosh i wasn't expecting them to come out of that cabinet and it's very whimsical and i like the, that the haunting is really fun yeah. It, yeah it does a really good job of showing these ghosts terrorizing, but mm -hmm. in a way that isn't terrifying. Exactly. See, those movies exist, you two. <laughs> oh, this God. is the right amount of scary. No. This was my gateway a drug. Kids so, movie is yeah. the right amount of scary. It did have a couple jump scares. Okay. No. Yeah. But, but like as a kid, I was not afraid to watch this. There's one scene, and I'll talk about it later. But uh, you know, like it was fun to watch these yeah. ghosts fuck with this family. And when Bill Pullman is on the staircase sword fighting with the ghost he's mm -hmm. using a plunger i would it was one of those brain blast moments where i was like holy shit i'm a child again yes. i remember this yeah, I remember yeah this, so this is great i love this i love this so yes. it, for me it was uh watching them eat the ice cream in the morning yes i don't know what it was but i've always remembered him them eating a uh -huh. bunch it going straight through them and then him trying to clean up yes. the slop and it's just like why why did you eat that the, i remember as a yes. child i was like but if you're not getting any nutrients, <laughs> I'm like, so like worried about these ghosts. Dork. But you get like this again, this house and these rooms in this grand mansion. It, it's of the caliber of like Jim Carrey's The Grinch or like the yeah. food. You reminded me of like the hook set. Like you oh get my these God, huge, the, the hook like scene. detailed events. It, it's mm -hmm. a great set. And it's very yeah. clear the 90s had a huge hard on for Tim Burton. They're like yeah. Beetlejuice worked, Edward Scissorhands worked, yeah. let's do it up, baby. Yeah. But it's great. It's a really fun and world to live in. I just keep thinking yeah. of that time. You don't like see fun practical sets like that anymore. Everything CGI'd or mechanical. Or I mean, speaking of CGI, the ghosts Listen, look so good. They this look came out in 95. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, like that. It looked so good mm -hmm. for that time, mm -hmm. and not even for that time. It looked believable now. Yeah, <laughs> I buy it. It yeah, made I you want to be a kid, like in that house, running around with them. Yeah, is all I 100%. could think about. I'm yeah. gonna dip into my fun facts, but this was the oh, first. Already? What the fuck? Well, it's it's appropriate. Oh, it's out of order. It's, it's, it's Halloween. It. Yeah, yeah. Bounce around. Chaos reigns, baby. Yeah, go. Uh, this was the first movie to have a CGI main character. Wow. Uh, I mean, wow. I would argue that Cat is the main character, but you know, Coley. Yeah. We'll we'll say Coley. Uh, it's the cold He's not named after her, so yeah. there you go. It's not Cat Spur. Yeah. Hey. That was good. Good job, Kelsey. What are the names of the three uncles? Harry, Larry, and Jerry. Uh, I know one Stinky. is Stinky. One is Fatso. Uh -huh. Oh. And, and I forget. I forgot the main one's name. Uh, anyway, they're fun. Yeah. Love them. <laughs> Love them so much. <laughs> they were Fatso. a bit of a terror. Fatso hasn't, you know, aged well. No. I would yeah. say Neither that's not the, the best the... name. Stretch Jesus. because he's Fatso. so fucking long and stinky because he has bad breath as a superpower. Yeah. But I will say, Fatso, I hate saying that over I know. and over again. Let's uh, call him Fred. Yeah, Fred, <laughs> voiced by Brad Garrett. I love him. He's my favorite. So I just good. love that man's voice. I could listen to him all day, yeah. every day. Love everybody loves Raymond. Yeah, yeah. The the one I had very few cons of this movie, but there was one joke that I actually was like, I wonder what Garrick thinks of this because, you know, again, professional writer in the room that I was just like, this is fucking defamatory and lazy as shit when they're watching Fred okay, Fatso, eat <laughs> and he goes, I'm like Oprah on hiatus. <laughs> and he goes, you look like Oprah on hiatus. And I was like, 
What? Yeah, that's bad. Which, in <laughs> don't, don't double the punchline ever. Yes. Don't ever say the same. You should never say the and same word Oprah. twice in a, on a page of a script. Right. <laughs> and what the fuck did Oprah do to you? Like, that is such that a was, oh, that was during the time. Attack. That was during the time when Oprah's weight was fluctuating and everybody ah. was like, well, she's skinny now. Now she's bigger. Now she's skinny. It was it's, like, so. I'm going to go ahead and say, really? that was, it was the whole thing. to quote Michael Scott, it was offensive and then it wasn't funny. Therefore, it was doubly offensive. There you go. I think um, we would be remiss to go any further mm. without talking. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you. It so well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we would be remiss mm. to go any further in this pod without talking about what I think is the lasting impact mm. that this movie had on oh, a yeah. generation. And you that know? is the sexual awakening of young girls everywhere when they saw Casper in the flesh oh, oh yeah oh you're going right to the end well it's, oh, it's, it's, we, we're bouncing around oh i forgot when he comes chaos. down in that fucking pirate Bitch. shirt oh his fucking swoop but he's cut. like every every but girl cut the way that every woman or every Hard. young woman in the in the crowd like kind of like split the and they're just like oh shit i did i'm a 31 God. year old woman in my kitchen by myself watching God. it and i was like Damn. oh Oh, and they hold on the back of his head. Just, you know, that fine ass back. I mean, the guy, I don't know how old he was, but I felt like I was transported back to childhood. So I yeah. don't feel like a creep. So nobody yeah. come for me. No, you're a creep. But no, he was hot as shit. <laughs> when I was a kid, I remember being like, this guy is hot as shit. And I screamed yeah. and I met audio messaged you guys being yep. like, wait, is this the motherfucker from the movie? The classic, one of my favorite films now and now then. and then, which Christina Ricci Mate it out with this actor then too. Yeah, she Devin she, Sawa. She was feeling him for sure. She clearly got him that gig on now yeah. and then. She was like, this is a guy I already kissed before on screen. Who cares? I, I wrote this down and I, I when this happened, I'm sorry, but that Devin Sawa reveal, and I know he's supposed to be 12, but that shit is steamier <laughs> than when Jack and, <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. Jack, <laughs> Jack and Rose. Steamier yeah. than when Jack and Rose hit it on the yeah. Titanic. With it's the, the same right. stair scene. Remember when it he's is. walking down yeah. the stairs for the first, or she, he sees her walking down the stairs for the first time? Even as a young straight boy, when I saw Devin Sawa, I'm like, that's a man. <laughs> look at that man. Do I, do I, I was like, like those mad creatures? I didn't look like, I was like, damn, man. I, what I wouldn't do. What I wouldn't do to that butt to have a fucking pirate shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I went and bought so many pirate shirts that year. Yeah, it's like the wrong thing you're trying to go nah. after. There's so many different aspects of it. You no, could have man. Garrick rolls up to school in a flowy shirt. He's like, am I doing it? Am I doing it? Coming, coming through motion. looking like fucking Prince. I trying to dance it. with girls. Between Devin Sawa mm -hmm. and Sean on Boy Meets World, mm -hmm. I wanted that cut so bad. I and, have it. And I had it <gasps> and it was bad. bad yeah you gotta have the head shape for it yeah because he's got the head i got shape. the head shape for it especially with my dorky you're glasses reminding me I, you need to take your fucking glasses yeah. off that's what that is rick's angry <laughs> you know this is a fun little throwback <laughs> moment for any I'm buzzfeed sorry. fans i we used to have a buzzfeed slack with the entire company and people would put their photos their company photos as their profile <laughs> images on slack i don't know why i never did it but I, I thought I was a goof. And one time I found this picture of Zach with a butt cut and glasses and yep. a black shirt. And he looked like a lesbian <laughs> in her 40s. Yeah. And I thought it was so fucking funny that I made it my avatar. And it was my avatar on Slack the entire time I worked at BuzzFeed. That's it, pretty solid. It's and incredible it's how much childhood me looks like an old lesbian woman. I look yes. more like Rachel Maddow than I do a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, but you went for the 90s boy band. So I tried so so hard uh, and it like I would like gel my mm. hair into like what like the reverse the devil curls? horns no yeah <laughs> oh god I, well, I'm wait why was that like it that was a move that, that was, was a, a move look. and um Boy Sean, World. Boy Meets World. Yeah. But I also feel like that was something weirdly Wait. specific to like Northeast. Topanga's in Boy Meets World, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, She's shit. bad. <laughs> shit. I think Rick just got a, One of these a days, moment. and you know what? This day is right now. Damn. We have to talk about how Boy Meets World is maybe the greatest sitcom ever made? I think question yeah. mark, question mark. Yeah. I, I have not seen enough. Or I, I haven't seen a lot of Boy Meets World. I've probably seen like it's a couple funny. episodes. But... Topanga. <laughs> oh my God. Topanga. Rick, you're losing your Re Rest my so. case. Look, all I, no, all I here's the reason why, and then we'll get back to Casper. So oh yeah, sorry, I forgot we're talking about Casper. Uh, because it was incredible when they were in middle school 
It went all the way through them in college, yep. graduating college, yep. maybe. Yeah. And it was fucking good the entire yep. time. Heart. Boy Meets World slaps. Laughs. Also, when you watch it back as an adult, you realize that Corey is playing a Catskills Mountain old Jewish man in oh. a tiny boy's body. And okay. it is so funny. Okay. I didn't realize that that like show is so Jewish. Mm. Anyway, Casper. Devin um, Sawa, holy fuck, yes. yeah. Belush. Really <laughs> okay, but like we have to we have to go back just a little bit to talk about how we got to there. Before but, you do, yes. I just want to know, um, did, for you as a yeah. kid, Kelsey, was that like... Yes, duh. Um, Hello, you've heard me talk about Leonardo DiCaprio. You've to- heard me talk about what's the other guy I was talking about with the hair. Like this type and style of boy was prevalent in my private time rainy oh rainy did you see casper as a kid no. rainy yeah. is young She's how old are you rainy <laughs> how old are you she hasn't seen anything <laughs> yeah yeah you're too young you're way too young casper i don't know i was five when it came out that means she was, was like yeah. negative <laughs> seven when it came out yeah. <laughs> um okay but going back to like how we got to hot casper uh-huh. we gotta reverse a little bit so okay. casper's been stuck in this ghostly body, which you find out over the course of time that ghosts exist in this world because they have unfinished business. Yeah. Much like so, the Patrick Swayze classic. Sure. Yeah. So that's why some people who die yeah, just cross straight over, but then some people get stuck and you kind of find out arguably like 55 fucking minutes into the goddamn movie <laughs> that, that Casper is of the Victorian era yep. that he had some sort of pneumonia, tuberculosis, mm-hmm. maybe something of the foot and mouth, some ancient Victorian disease. Which, probably Black Plague or something. Probably like that. By the way, mm. thank God Casper wasn't, oh, you in my house. <laughs> right. He's just like a normal <laughs> fucking guy, a normal kid, because he's been a ghost for so long. His, imagine, his accent probably changed. Imagine fine ass Casper comes down the stairs and was like, oh, I might say. <laughs> me lungs don't feel so good. <laughs> me legs. <laughs> me legs are weird. Like, <laughs> it sounded like fucking Mr. Krabs. Yes, in the wonder of the pirate shirt makes more sense now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. Why was he able to walk down the stairs? He's been floating for fucking centuries. <laughs> yeah. Does he remember how to walk? How did he remember how to walk? I don't know. But they also give this weird storyline that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. But they say that like ghosts have amnesia. Yeah. Like Why? they don't remember their past lives. Why? Why did they say that? I mean that that actually makes sense. For what? I I that made the most sense. No, than, that actually is quite logical. That actually does. Uh, yeah, that's that right. checks out. You what? die. Have you you're ever in a, seen you're in a fucking that? void. You're in the light for however many thousand years, and you come out and you're just like, what is going on? Why am I back here? I'm floating now. But if you have unfinished business, wouldn't like the the universe well, rem- or the players that be try you, to like help you along your you journey? have to remember <gasps> the business that is unfinished. That's probably why. They're okay. Okay. Around for so long. okay so the business casper didn't finish was what it, it okay we never know, we never know. And the, the because ending they were the, like we need to leave this open because we got three more movies to make. They? there's three there's, there's i don't know if there's three more there's, there's another, another one more. they didn't end up making sequels to this because oh. they couldn't get bill pullman and Casp- <laughs> casper and and uh <laughs> wait what the, the fuck christina no ricci there are sequels but not like direct sequels oh, okay All right. there's oh. one with a young hillary duff that people really wanted us to do oh. maybe we'll do that in the later there's like there was casper like animated series duff. but they never made it. there's like a bunch of casper movies yeah but we talk about the darkness the hidden darkness mm-hmm. of yeah. casper the ending is tragic i mean it's Cas- casper's stuck yeah he, he, he he's in purgatory clearly has unfinished business yeah and sacrifices and he, himself to let christina ricci's dad live yeah. he was gonna come back to life and they said no mm-hmm. yeah no you're gonna you're gonna stay ghost and then they at the end say guess what you have unfinished business you're staying here forever bitch yeah, yeah. well again i didn't get to rewind us back as far as i'd like to oh, keep going but the the reason this whole like shenanigan is is existing is under the guise of a a school halloween dance which was supposed to happen at the school but they have asbestos in the gym <laughs> yep. and then the teacher very serious offers to have a school party at the brand new girl's mansion that is haunted which everyone in the classroom knows about but i thought that was fucking weird why are we offering up a child's home to have a school dance in also like you know 
the teacher shouldn't be that gung ho about the kids dance. No, no, something up with that teacher. Mm. <laughs> I, I, he he let, him, let them grind on each other. <laughs> he was but trying to be the cool teacher. It was also super crazy to watch that group scene and then not think about COVID. <laughs> it was oh. like they're a little too close to each other. Yeah, leave room for Jesus and mm. COVID. The Holy which Spirit, which is uh, six and a half feet. Yeah, more on the. Uh, I don't have any jokes about the school dance. It was a good observation, though. Oh, but I just thought, like, that that's so interesting that there was one teacher for, like, what, <laughs> 50 students? Yeah. At a a, a child time. Like, that's some Where Florida are the shit. Exactly. In Florida, <laughs> that man would have went to, to jail. Really? That's too many children. I feel in like your in Florida, that man would have become a local <laughs> hero. He would have been, he would have been <laughs> the mayor. He would have been He's the mayor a local of Florida. Babysitter. It's just like, oh, yeah. you can look after fifty children yeah. and none of them get eaten by crocodiles. Wow. Of course, you can yeah, watch my no, kids. We all got eaten by crocodiles. But can I can I say that the 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 Halloween party storyline actually felt super fucking out of place, but it worked for me. Like oh, I'm on board. It yeah. felt unique. Like a school dance is the plot line of every fucking high school coming of age yeah. movie. But this one felt like jazzy because it was a Halloween felt, party. Yeah, it was a Halloween. It felt at a genuine. Haunted mansion. It felt like the kids were walking in and they're like, yeah, this is the correct place to be for yes. a Halloween dance. Yes. And you know what? I think the reason that it works is because when you're a kid, getting the approval of your peers at a new school would mm -hmm. feel life or death. Mm -hmm. So yeah. even though we like we're cutting between what is literally life or death stakes with the dad nice. who dies, whatever, like I, emotionally I'm on board. It's the yeah. same level to me. This is yeah. also like going this is pre 9-11. This is you <laughs> yeah. can walk to the fucking gate with your family. Yes. So I, in my head, I'm like, oh, there were no rules. Yeah. Of course you could just a go to a haunted mansion yeah. all willy nilly with a bunch of kids. Who cares? Yeah. Like nobody's nobody's really pre internet, pre -internet. Essentially, and knowing yeah. everything is trash. Nobody would even hear about that. Yeah. That wouldn't even make the news. No. Do you remember that year when we were kids on Halloween where there was a rumor that someone was putting razor, razor blades in yeah. apples? And, apples. and I'm like, Mom. I'm not getting a fucking apple. Yeah. If someone gives me an apple, I'm, I'm not eating that, that shit. shit. I want anyway. Kit Kat. Yeah, right. Yeah, but somebody I'm was throwing that there. apple back at your fucking face yeah. and then letting the razor blade embed <laughs> yeah. itself in your skull because that's what you deserve. Okay, can I say that I think this is a guilt for the world, not necessarily the movie. Ooh. How they did not make a Casper the Friendly Ghost ride somewhere. Yeah. It's my favorite scene of the movie. Yeah. Yes. And when it got to... Okay, so Casper's dad... We find out. ...has mm -hmm. a secret underground laboratory. He was an inventor. Of he was an inventor. And so she goes on a chair, <laughs> and it's like putting her it's through. It's a ride. It's like a Wallace and Gromit contraption where it's like wow. brushing his teeth, shaving his face, yeah. whatever. And it's then, called the, the up and at him. Yeah. There's like this steampunk staircase that goes and yes. turns into a slide. And when that scene started, again, yes. brain blast. I was back every to where time. I was as a kid. Every time. I remember I very I wanted that so bad. I was yes. very upset that it wasn't a ride. It was so weird that it wasn't. It felt like this is a prime opportunity to just sell so many Casper yes. things. But then you remember it's not a Disney, Disney property. Movie. So, so there's no theme park attached to it. I have no. a, a working theory that mm. I don't oh, know. Oh, was it DreamWorks? Uh, it I must, don't know why. I think it was pre-DreamWorks. DreamWorks, DreamWorks the, didn't exist the, yet. The, <clears throat> so Steven Spielberg at the time, <laughs> I think he really <laughs> was trying to basically beat Disney and yeah. become the next Disney. This is just a theory. I don't have anything to back this up. But a lot of the movies that he produced in this era yeah. had theme park moments in the movie. Mm. Goonies has a theme park, like a water slide scene mm. yeah. in the towards the end of the climax. So I feel like Spielberg was like, we got to get a theme park moment. Yeah. I don't know why I made him evil in that yeah. impression. Yeah. Spielberg love, was like, I love working with children. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. He was just Crape. like, I need to have like a ride type yeah. situation because kids love this shit. And it was Universal who made this. It's so I, okay. I, my oh, hunch is that yeah. Spielberg yeah. thought that he could go toe to toe with Disney and make his own theme park, make right. his own. You're whatever. telling me Universal never made a fucking Casper ride. Shame on you, Universal. Seriously. Yeah. Can I just say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Permission granted. <laughs> These movies in general gave me very unrealistic expectations about the way oh. as a child could stand up to adults. <laughs> 
Oh, did you get like smacked around a bunch? Yes, yeah. I got my ass beat. Like this, yeah. these kids, the way they talk to the villains in these movies, they're just like, yeah, you're going to do that? Huh, good chance, bucko. And then, <laughs> and then you got drunk. They like the, the adult, like it's like van. flipped over the staircase and into a vat of fucking smoking water. Right. And yeah, like I got hit. Yeah. In, in real life. You're, yeah. In real life. It's <laughs> just like a quick, I was a like, quick jab. I was always getting away with this. Yeah. Yeah. They just talk to the pair. The adults. Kelsey the watches the next movie. like, oh, okay, that's the line I need to say. Yeah. Get spit on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah the wooden like, brush came out. No, that doesn't the work. Belt, the leather belt. Oh, Smacked. Yeah. With I, a I gotta say, the way this movie uh, just has the most important invention in any movie. <laughs> Period. Just oh, we can bring people back from the dead. That is literally the plot of every like a lot of like mm. horror films mm -hmm. where it's just like what is it the Lazarus effect mm -hmm. where uh, called she gets, the Lazarus the the name of the, the invention. name of the invention is Lazarus which yeah. is biblical shit so wow. like even in the Lazarus effect she gets brought back to life but she's been in hell for however many years so she comes back evil of course oh. but like we've been playing around with the idea of you know life and death for centuries mm. and for this movie to just be like nah man they could just ha they just have that ability and it's fine you can fall down a trench and then come back to life yeah you don't even need the body you just yeah. you just need your ghostly ectoplasm Ooh, to get good. into the Toku. it is funny too because it's dropped about Three quarters of the way through the movie, they're yeah. like, "Oh, yeah. by the way, we have a machine that can bring you to life." Not teased up top. Yeah. Not right. so. So, a couple things on that. One, do you remember the the backstory of this machine, the Lazarus? That oh yeah, that his dad Personally, went crazy trying to invent it. Casper's dad lost his fucking mind yeah. Yeah. trying to bring his dead son back yeah. to life. Yeah, that is so it's dark. dark. It's dark. And before he got the chance to do it, uh, I guess he dies yeah because then and where no, he the was dad? he was declared legally insane so i think they mm. took him oh, to an asylum him. but also are we talking about the same ghost dog you're telling me that you got casper the friendly ghost for his son let him be dead he's doing great he's yeah. not doing great he wants to be alive he, he, he wants, wants to, to wait casper wants to fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. casper's trying to fuck he's not doing well yeah. bro honestly <laughs> if i had that <laughughs> <laughs> that 20 seconds i'm not walking down the stairs all gingerly dog. i'm running down the stairs i'm <laughs> like yo off. we need to go upstairs right now <laughs> i only got till 10 o'clock <laughs> i only need 30 seconds but yeah you know. oh my god yeah uh, and then he's flying <laughs> <laughs> when they're During dancing, the dance, he's he just like starts flying. floating. And then everybody was You know just, he's got a boner in that moment. Oh, 100%, he's literally that's what lifting that's, off the That's ground. what lifted them. Yeah. yeah. The, he raised his me giant up. ghost penis. <laughs> okay, I have an So he does oh, have one. God, there's two places I want to go. Inside him. Um uh, <laughs> it's a pirate okay. shirt. Do you want to talk about mm. uh ghost boners or do you want to talk about the Lazarus? What do you fucking Lazarus, think? Lazarus, man. Oh, oh ghost boners. <laughs> Ghost boners. Ghost boners. Ghost boners. Ghost boners. Ghost boners. Ghost boners. for each of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come back to ghost boners okay. in just a moment. Okay, like please. Um, Thank you. Uh, they're, so the Lazarus, they're going to bring Casper back. They have mm. this one vial left. Only one vial. Which is like, also, get that shit to a lab. Get yeah. it tested. Yeah, we get it tested. Solve. Get it. But whatever, man. Yeah. So the dad, Bill Pullman, who's excellent. Love fucking Bill Pullman way to go mvp of the 90s yeah the man really. he dies accidentally because he's been out getting sloshed with the ghost yeah, yeah. and Went there's an hard. open trench right in front of the yeah. door to the bar yeah the, uh, the front door to the bar i didn't the ghost bros do that no they were uh, gonna kill him and then they yeah. didn't they had like a shotgun that was and a that one of those those, one of those scenes that stick out in my head of just like having something behind your back yeah. and then bringing out a shotgun yeah and, just, and anyway. then like an eight ball they're gonna smash his fucking so brains funny. and like yeah. it's so dark but the dad comes back and he is a ghost and he's now one of them, mm -hmm. right? He's he's rude, he's sloppy. And there's this moment Amnesia. where where she is like, Dad, it's me, don't you remember? And she puts her pinky out to do their secret handshake. And he goes, <laughs> oh yeah, I do. And he pulls it and goes, <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you that shit was harrowing yeah. to me as a kid. That yeah. is scarier Deepest than fear. anything. Because that's like, that's on par with the fucking Shining. That yeah. is your parent, the person who's supposed to protect you yeah. has forgotten you. Yeah. And her mom died too. And so her mom's already gone. No parents. Yeah. It is 
like re- like I'm getting chills talking yeah. about it right now. It right. got me. Again, yeah. well, why do the ghosts have amnesia? <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. Uh, again, Kelsey, sense. we talked about this. It checks out. The science is sound. Uh, the science, the science, science is sound. The professional writer says no, yes. no, no, no. This is from a scientific <clears throat> standpoint. Oh, well, okay, sorry. When Rick you die, scientist. it's been proven. It's been proven. It's when been you die, proven. you have to sit there <laughs> in purgatory in uh-huh. the lights for thousands upon okay. thousands of years. Okay. And you might you might forget. Why are you pointing to your Ghost Boners? Okay, Ghost, ghost Boners. You want to talk about Ghost Boners? Yes, yes please. So Bill Pullman, in that uh-huh. scene when they are drunk, he smooches three ghosts. Yeah. Yep. Which tells me, you know, ghosts make physical contact. Yes, they do. You can kiss he a ghost. Things He's a little all fluid the time. too. He pulled the Lazarus effects or the Lazarus machines. Uh, Lever. levers a bunch of times so you can make physical contact yes, with a ghost yep. can so you she could have she could have a ghost she could have he could have at least fingered her. Okay. oh, oh my, god. God. Oh, oh, my god. god oh my god well, if there was a I, ghost oh, penis oh my god there's, there's no a ghost, ghost penis well he if did have tail, a tip to him if the, the tail, tail is it's not a tail he's got a wispiness yes, to him this is, a tail. this is my burning question would you fuck a ghost? Fuck a ghost. Fuck yeah. Are you out of your mind? Would you fuck Casper? Well, if he's 18. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, okay, I, but I'm saying that if he died 12 but has been old longer. <laughs> <laughs> Not where I was expecting the podcast to go. <laughs> You're telling me if you got debate. the fucking chance to fuck a ghost? To fuck a ghost, you wouldn't? Mm. Man. Are you out of your you uh y- what? Not even a quote. Give me a con. Okay. Um, the, my answer, probably. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but the only con that I can think of is, you know, when you like make a drunk mistake, like you hook up with someone and then they're like, they're like, oh, they like crazy and they like are clingy. All the time. Like you, like they could, they could fucking haunt they you. They could haunt you for the rest of your life. Uh, and so like, you, let's say you fuck someone, you fuck a ghost on a whim. You're like, that was cool. Ghost, imagine imagine fucking the babushka from Absolutely Drag not. Me to Hell. Why would you even bring her up? <laughs> you know, she would be at your doorstep so all of Rick, the time. Why <laughs> would you even bring her up? <laughs> you. No, I thought we put her to sleep. Uh, I thought we put her to bed till next year. There was some pretty good sound effects in this movie, and I thought of you guys. Are we I was like, are we moving past the ghost fucking? No, no are you? Would no, you, you would fuck a ghost? You didn't give me a straight answer, Rick. What if I would? I don't think so. I'm, I'm too afraid of the haunting. I'm too afraid of you coming and going as literally as you literally? please. Um, Here's the thing: a ghost. They don't have responsibilities. Have responsibilities. So they're going to come in work. and be like, what's up, Zach? You want to fuck? And I'm like, dude, I'm at work right now. I'm, I'm, I'm so at work. Drained. Like, but can we, is, like, I know, know that you have unlimited ectoplasm, but like, I, I got, got, I'm on a pitch count I here. Got a Not women. Yeah. We can go, keep going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, I, that to me bugged me. I think that Casper could have gotten a smooch. Yep. He did get a smooch. He did get a smooch. Well, right. Exactly. As a human. But as, a, as a human. And I think that Christina Ricci, she was a little narrow minded, right? Yeah. Like love, love. Love. His love is love. Love is love. But I don't know that. Here's what bothers me. She didn't really fuck with him until he was hot. <laughs> he was so hot, though. Right? But I like. Th- I think she only fucked with him uh, after he became a, a, a real boy. Exactly. To Kelsey's point, Devin Sawa comes down. The, the fucking C parts. Yep. He reaches his hand out. They're dancing. And she's, and then she's, she's quivering. She's like, oh, my. doesn't know who it is. And then he says can i keep, keep you? you and then she's like casper so she was just down she was yeah. just down she was horny too yeah. girls get horny just as much and at the same time as teen boys guarantee me that um i had I, a can i keep you mm, cute or creepy? creepy oh it's creepy <laughs> Every, yeah. as soon as as soon as i heard it I, 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 jesus christ i was like well she's not a pet yeah. first of fucking all is that it was it a callback to something yes, yeah he it says it at the midpoint when she's falling asleep, he like kisses her as she f- goes to bed. Didn't even ask. Yeah, yeah. He a says, non-consensual. can I keep you? And she goes, mm, and then he kissed her. And I, I was like, wait, did he say, can I kiss you? And I rewound it. He said, nope, can I keep you? And uh, I was like, all right, this is just a little, little too horny. Very weird. Casper, Casper the horny, the horny ghost. ghost. You know that's going to be the title. Um, Speaking of that moment when they kiss, the big reveal is as soon as they kiss, he then turns back into a ghost and all the children in the room are like... <gasps> They scream so loud that their hair flies up. Yes. Classic. <laughs> classic comedy moment. Shit. I, it, re- it reminds me of the, f- the fucking funniest moment oh? in any oh. movie. Oh, go on. In Home Alone 2. 
Oh, if you when, say the time when Harry it, it, turns, it, turns on, on the, the dryer, <laughs> that is my favorite moment too. And his shit. I this will is adorable. die <laughs> laughing. No, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Does he not goes, matter. Up an octave. It, it, <laughs> Wait, can we watch that for Christmas? We got to. The way that he shakes everything it about it. flashes is, to a practical skeleton. <laughs> it is so the bad. funniest moment in any and You any ask media. my sister what I think the funniest movie in cinema is. And she uh, will tell you it's Home Alone 2. We send each other that clip back and forth. <laughs> And then he flashes as a ghost. Are there moments in this movie that make you laugh? Like, oh, there, the, I wrote the, down the what one that this really say? made me giggle so much is when Casper turns into an egg. I didn't understand oh, it, but funny. it made me giggle so hard. Read that, Rick. What does that say? I have not laughed so hard as when that 11 year old got clothesline. <laughs> 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 when the girl, the bully, gets, she's standing on the shoulders of the uh-huh. other hot guy who is not as cute as Not as hot, hot as cute as Mr. Sawa. I was like, what is this fucking bullshit? Budget Devin Sawa. And they run out and she gets fucking Decked. clotheslined by a string of lights. Yeah. What? And the noise goes, Gah! and I tell you, I sat out of my chair and belly laughed. I was like, God <laughs> damn, they really just watch an 11 year old get fucking wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. Ooh. You know what I really tickled me is mm. when the dad said, uh, you can go in aluminum and you'll go for Halloween and you'll go as a leftover. Yeah, that was That's good. Fucking good. That's costume. good for me good. for Halloween good this year. Good costume. Wait, you weren't here when we talked about costumes. Where are you going to be for Halloween? Uh, probably one of the Squid Game people. Everybody, everyone. Yeah, I mean, that's everybody. The point. That's the point. It, it, they're we're everywhere. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, can we spoiler alert that you guys are doing Squid Games, or will it not be ready? It won't be out by now, then. But we're uh, yeah, we're gonna do a red light, green light video and shoot people with paintballs. I need to just talk about what the ghost rules are here. Ghost rules. Ghost rules. Ghost boners. Who really are these three ghosts to him? If he is a Victorian yeah. boy. Are they his uncles? They say that, that they're his uncles. His uncles. But that doesn't make sense that you have three I didn't. uncles who all are stuck. <laughs> and died at the same time. Yeah. I didn't question it at the time, but here is my theory now yeah. that you're asking me, is that they were already dead. Uh-huh. And then Casper died. And they're like, what's up, little fresh meat? You're a bitch now. Like Welcome to Ghost Camp. Like, they live in that house? I, I have the reverse. Oh. I think Casper died first <gasps> because it's his house. Yes. And I think that they died after, but they were bigger. And so they took bullied over. Bullied him. And they bullied and him. And they made him, like, make him breakfast and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Casper. Then yeah. it's like. Because then he, he died young, which you is get, very sad. You get Kat's mom as an angel question mark that, <laughs> that comes was back com- yeah she got to come back with the, as the, a real person the power of friendship but I why guess? are angels wearing red <laughs> i yeah. also once no, again that's definitely the clothes that she died in or was buried in what? that's what it feels like to me how'd she die i don't know wait we're, it was Off so the, edge of the titanic apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's so confusing like mm. she yeah like the power of friendship something happened yeah. like just because yeah, casper, because casper was, was on good behavior himself yeah. he sacrificed himself so that the dad could live she's like yo big man sent me down yes, or yeah. big woman we don't know big, oh, there you go. Yeah. but it was that it was like i was sent here to allow you to be human for an hour it's a very sweet scene she's like yeah. live your life i don't want I, you loved me so much that I don't have any any unfinished business. Yes. Don't let me be yours. But also, if I were Bill Pullman, I'd be like, how much time do we have? Let's go. Because right. can angels fuck? I, well, I don't see why I mean, not. It seemed like all ghosts could touch people. So <laughs> We're <laughs> yeah. asking the important questions here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That was my that was my. Is this a horny pun. movie or is this a horny podcast? <laughs> if she's in, if she's in heaven, she's getting fucked up. On <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just saying she might not uh, want she's to. She's hot as shit. She might be getting like if if she loved her husband this much, she's uh she might be getting fucked dick. by like clones of her husband. Or like uh, Zeus, whoever's Zeus. up there. <laughs> yeah. Zeus? Yeah. Yeah, cuz we're going into the the Grecian era of uh, There were a couple moments that were very adult, sneakily adult. Oh. They said bitch twice. They Do said you remember bitch that? Twice. You had the 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 
evil blonde haired lady who yep. first said the bitch is back which mm-hmm. I was like oh shit and then Eric Idle who I can't believe we didn't talk about him Eric Idle's in this movie fucking Monty Python how do you know so many actor names I had a depressing childhood <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I would say it's depressing same but I turned to drugs yeah well I turned to movies that's sweet that is a drug in itself hell yeah Rick uh, what'd you turn but <laughs> <laughs> fucking anime yeah <laughs> <laughs> anime and cars <laughs> I wanted to say it all cool, but yeah, yeah. you got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really I, I wasn't watching somewhere. anime as a kid. I was watching uh, car shit, but Cartoons. anime definitely came yeah. in middle school. I think. Mm. Yeah, that's a. It's such a weird thing. the The men who love anime in my life, it not there's no pattern. Okay, like Jared loves start. anime. That's why I fuck with Jared, and also I'm because like, he's tall. He's- <laughs> Why are you fuck with Zach? <laughs> Damn. Sorry, Zach. my beautiful eyes. Yeah, beautiful there eyes. you go. But it, it, there's no through there's line reasons. in the men that love anime. Yeah, no, you just kind of pick it. You just kind of find it. You stumble into it. You you fall. Because what happened with me is that I fell asleep. Uh, <laughs> I, I fell asleep just watching Cartoon Network. And then I woke up oh. and Tsunami was on. And I was like, what is this new kind Late of night. animation oh. of cartoon? Oh, my God. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the truth is that anime is the superior art form. It and is. there are those who just watch it and yeah. those who haven't yet. Ah, uh, do you? I did as a kid. Like I fucked with Dragon Ball Z so hard. Yeah. And somewhere along the way, I just kind of fell off, which is weird. I got to get Garrick. Pull me back. You know what? It, the, I, do you want you want oh some boy. shit? You want some uh, suggestions? I, we'll talk no. offline. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to. Ra- okay, Gary. Go. He was so excited. Oh, you man. just deflated <laughs> our poor oh. boy sales. Hey, buddy. Buddy, anime. You want to talk about anime? Garrick. No. Okay. <laughs> Garrick as a ghost, his unfinished business is just that he <laughs> hasn't gotten everyone to watch anime yet. <laughs> Wait, what would your unfinished business be? No, mine would. Uh, what would your finished business be? I mean, it would be that. Yeah. And then I would be like, if you don't watch it, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, how you haunt people? That's how I haunt people. Damn. My unfinished business, uh, yeah, I mean, now that I've made this podcast and gotten to talk about Josie and the Pussycats for an hour, I think oh I've done God. it. <laughs> I think mine would be to try ketamine. <laughs> I've never gotten to try ketamine. And I want to try Special K. <laughs> I hear it's a very smooth experience. If any of you listeners, if any more guilty of us <laughs> Let's wrap it up. <laughs> I think that is the cue exactly. for fun facts. Yeah. Fun facts. Fun, fun facts with Zach. He, he did this song the other day. And I oh, was, really? It was a week you're out of town. What fun happened? facts with Zach's is back. Stop trying to take my shoe off. Rick, were you wearing Converse too? What are those? They're Vans. You're very cool with your shoes. Thank you. So, okay. We will- <laughs> said it like an insult. Yeah. Oh, you're very cool with your shoes. <laughs> okay, guy. It's like, with um, his shoes that are always cool. They're just black Vans. Zach with his jackets. <laughs> oh, you got fucking phenomenal jackets, buddy. Zach's jackets is facts, backs. So we would we, <laughs> we would all fuck a ghost. I just wanted before we get into the fun facts. Um, yeah, I would. Uh, I would no. if the consequences weren't he's, so he's severe. He's too safe. Would I'm you too scared? Oh, would you would you ghost. finger a ghost? Yeah. All right, just <laughs> a little dusty nub up there. Yeah. Miles, would you fuck a ghost? Uh, I mean, it depends on whose ghost. <laughs> oh shit! No, he's not, asking the right questions. It's not whose ghost? Yeah. It's a ghost. Who's any it's ghost? It's a billowy. Floppy. I mean, with now I'm tail. interested. <laughs> <laughs> Billowy floppy. My God. Yeah. What if it's much like? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I unfortunately cannot control what she says to you. Yeah. She is technically <laughs> also an employee. Yeah. I'm not your HR. I, you could take that part out. I'm sorry. Here yeah. There's a clap. For that moment. Yeah, another <laughs> slate a, a, an hour in. How do you think that the clap helps? <laughs> yeah, what do you think that oh, does? Man, because it's like I'm wiping frame. This is your You case. can't do that right now. Yeah, so put your legs down. <laughs> you not in an HR conversation. You go spread fucking eagle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, here's a marker real quick. I whip my dick. <laughs> I <laughs> start helicoptering. Oh just so you know to cut this out. <laughs> I was wiping the frame. Okay. Tell us our 
exact facts. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, oh, my God. I don't. <laughs> my mouth hurts from laughing. <laughs> Did you know Christina Ricci has the biggest forehead in Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually? No, 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 oh, no. no. Oh, say, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> okay. Can you imagine somebody who did that fact just rude? <laughs> somebody just walking around <laughs> with like a tape measure and just putting it around. Hey, are you with his. wardrobe? Um, don't ask any questions. <laughs> there's, um, shut the fuck up. There's one <laughs> listener who is like really insecure about their big forehead and we've just ruined their <laughs> life. Oh. And I just want to tell you, you're beautiful and yes. I love your forehead. Yeah, and I got big teeth. Yeah, and I have again. If I had any imperfections, I'd be happy to Which share them. Which you don't. Yeah, I, would, <laughs> I would. Perfect. Well. I, I would love to. J.J. Abrams. Oh. Did an uncredited rewrite on this movie. Nice. Wait, how do you get an uncredited Pally, rewrite? Like le- legend, alumni, J.J. Abrams. We have the same English teacher. Fuck, Whoa. Fuck with that's it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's cool. Maybe that's the secret sauce. No. Becoming a Hollywood elite. Is to go to Palisades Charter High School. Also, that sounds like mm-hmm. such a nice high school. It is beautiful. It is the high school Wait, for modern family. I think I used to, I tried babysitting one time in, in Los Angeles. And I think the girl that I babysat went there. Yeah, that makes sense. And you pull in and there's a middle school too? No. Never mind. Right before this movie was going to production, it had a different director, Alex Proyas. Uh, he had a darker version of the film. It was less Love. comedic, more, more deconstructionist. Um, he wanted to do a kid's he fantasy movie in the version of, like his version of Wizard of Oz. But yeah, at the last second, he left the movie. I think there must have been creative differences. And so they rewrote a large part of it. I'm sure JJ was brought in along with a lot of other screenwriters. And uh, I, I mean, I don't know what Spielberg's involvement was, but you can tell like he wanted it to be family friendly and, you know, they changed it. It's not that fun of a fact. I know that was fun. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of yeah. again. How do you get an uncredited rewrite? It means like no one wants to know that it was rewritten. No, you take your name off. And actually, oh. it, well, it does happen um, quite Ayer. frequently. You uh, take your name off, or your your if you do a rewrite, uh, I don't know the rules. I'm not okay. even going to try. But I know that David Ayer <laughs> rewrote uh, Fast and Furious. His name is not on it. Well, and like there's the example. Um, uh, Why would you want your name? Like Judd Apatow was hired to do a joke a joke punch up on Bad Boys Two, uh-huh. and then he hired Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg to write the jokes for him. Nice. Uh, so none of them are credited on the movie, but they wrote stuff. It, it happens yeah. quite frequently. It's like just, you, yeah. The main screenwriter who wrote, you know, it goes through arbitration at the WGA. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, I'm super not an expert on this, mm-hmm. but yeah, it goes through arbitration. Whoever wrote the bulk of the story gets the credit, but other people are oh. hired to mm-hmm. do con- contributions. I knew that, but I always thought it was m- like lesser named people, but like for J.J. Abrams. Well, he was he lesser would... known at the time. Oh, I guess. In it was the 90s. This is pre-Felicity. Yeah, that was like. Pre-Alias. Yeah, that's that, that that's, that's like a main means. job for a lot of wow. early budding screenwriters. Is Not me. Rewrites. No <laughs> one's ever asked me to rewrite anything. Well, you'll be, you'll be in Punch-Up <laughs> Ruins. That's true. I would for love sure. to do that. Yeah. Oh my God, I would love to that do that. That would be so They do that fun. for Pixar. Ugh. So this is a real job. People don't know. They go around, they read a script, they bring in a bunch of comedians and then they just pay you for a day and they go, what jokes you got? And yeah. it's just to make scenes right. as but funny as possible. But that's also like when Justin Roiland and What's His Nuts do those takes where, have you ever seen on YouTube where mm-hmm. they give you the, t- the outtakes of what jokes they didn't use? Yeah. Fucking, if you are depressed, which you probably are if you listen to this podcast, go just to youtube.com and look up the alternate line readings of like any Justin Roiland show and you'll have the best day of your life. After the film's release, a young Christina Ricci said, quote, looking back, that movie sucked. (laughs) What? (laughs) It made no sense. I'm supposed to fall in love with a ghost. How does this work? And he's like, cartoon? Well, part of him? End quote. She later claimed that she wanted to move on from children's films as she got older. One reason why a sequel never happened. Uh, uh, wow. I'm going to tell you what, Christina Ricci. It does make sense. It doesn't make sense. You're right. Because you could have fucked that ghost. Yeah. You had the power. Yeah. And Rick she, said she it made child. sense scientifically. So Scientifically, it's... Yeah, sounds. you're wrong. Hate to disagree, but... But uh, she did go on to do Now and Then, which was such a coming of she, age. She had a career. Icon. She had a career. The Adams Family Girl. We'll talk about Now and Then one of these days. Oh, have you ever seen one. Now and Then? No. Oh my! Have you ever seen Now and Then? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Miles. Have you ever seen Now and Then? Uh, yes, as Sarah loves it. Oh, what what girl doesn't <laughs> of my age? <laughs> that film was instrumental. Final fun fact: the house that was used for the mansion mm-hmm. was also 
used for scenes in the Backstreet Boys music video. What? Everybody, Backstreet's back. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Way. If you remember that music video, they're yes, like monsters. Yeah. yeah. That is the same house. What, what, what? Was that on location somewhere? It, yeah, I don't know. It must be. Yeah, is be. that house real? Is that a Did famous? Did somebody actually build that? Is that the Knives Out house? Because oh, it feels like it's the Knives Out house. It's not. And we're, no and Of way. course it's not. Of course it's not. It's a real mansion located on the seafront of Eastern Canada. Canada's so fucking weird. It's of course, a, that would be a Canadian architect's Don't dream. Canada, Wait, holy shit. Right. It's in Friendship, Maine. Wait, this is crazy because there's a thing. Okay, when she moves to this town, it's called Friendship, right? Yeah. I'm not crazy. Because then in her class, she makes a joke about like real friendship. friendly so far. Yeah. Wait, and that's where the real fucking man. This is blowing my mind. Wait, the real. I thought you said it was in Canada. I It does. But then I click on it and it redirects to Friendship, Maine. Is I'm, Friendship, yeah. Maine a real place? Yeah. <laughs> the majority of the 1995 film Casper was set in Friendship, though the production crew chose to the nearby resort town of Camden for filming, citing it to be, quote, more authentic. Uh, okay. And Friendship is the home oh. to Whipstaff Manor. Whipstaff Manor in real life Whipstaff. is located in eastern Canada. Wow. The town's a real place. Oh Whipstaff Manor, Canada. This shit looks spooky as fuck. Wow. So we could go to the real Casper house. I like Canada. I fuck with Canada hard. It's where my biggest audience is sometimes. Really? Yeah. I want to go on tour in Canada. Hey, yeah, shout Canada's out to Canada. It's fun. It's cool. But Have you ever been to Montreal? No. It's like going to Europe, but you just go up a little bit. That's fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a good line. I liked it a lot. It's like going to Europe, you just go up a little bit. Well, in conclusion, Casper's a horny ghost. Yes. I would fuck a ghost. I'd maybe fuck Casper. Um, oh. Is this movie a guilt, a pleasure, guilt, or innocent? Can I just say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's not a bad movie at all. It's a really good movie. Yeah. It's a great film. Uh, great set pieces. Great characters. Great kids movie. Great amount of scary. Great for Halloween. I think they should do a remake, but Christina Ricci is an adult. Ooh. Casper has grown up. <laughs> and this time, <laughs> and this time, <laughs> they finally get yeah. the fuck. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Dare, you, dare you to say different. The, yeah. movie, the movie's a pleasure, and this time we're going to see Casper get his pleasure. Hey. <laughs> he finally gets the lid off some ecto play. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Rick, what do you think? Um, It's a pleasure for sure. Yeah. There's no, I, I don't have any qualms with it at all. It's, it's, to the point where if anybody talks about the movie in a, in a negative way, I'm like, hey, who cares? Why, why, no why does it matter? Yeah. Who hurt you? you who, hurt, who hurt you? Yeah. you know? And it's just like, this is like people talking shit about like Fruit Loops or something <laughs> <laughs> or so whatever fun cereal you like. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's a kid's movie. I've said this before. It, it's, it's just... Delightful. Delightful. I, I definitely feared that it was not going to hold up. Yes. I looked on yeah. the Rotten Tomatoes and yeah. it's got a 50%, which I think is <gasps> crazy. I, I think it's yes. totally great. Look, every week when we choose movies and we announce it, I get blasted in my DMs like, what? That's not a guilty pleasure. That's my favorite. Guys, are they from the Victorian era? <laughs> that's my, they're, they're from the Casper era. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite movie oh of all time. God. Have you not been listening long enough to realize that this whole the whole fucking a format ruse. of a show is a ruse. It's a sham. Yeah. We just want to yeah. talk about the movies we yeah. want to talk about. But yeah, it's Fuck a pleasure. It. I, yeah. I, I, it's yeah. a great movie. It it holds up. It delighted me, and like I was so just so tickled by the moments of nostalgia. I mean, this is one of the movies that did define my childhood, and I'm happy to know that it was a good one. Yeah, Miles, do you think it's a guilty pleasure or a guilty pleasure? That's a pleasure. Wow. <laughs> so earnest. I, just, yeah. I just wanted to know across the board, Does like everyone thinks yeah. this is a good movie. Yeah, people were yeah, mad at me for nice even suggesting it. But well, look how much fun we had. We had yeah. a lot So of fuck fun. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for next week when we also tell our audience to <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like Logan says. <laughs> Are you watching Succession? Of course. I'm re-watching everything so that oh. I can be right on cue right. for it. I'm Kate, a little. I'm Kate like, has been texting, has oh been live God. texting me the show. Is she and watching it for the first she's time? She's watching it for the first time. And it's so <gasps> now delightful. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck um, off. Telling you to fuck off, probably not the best segue, but Maybe if you not. would write the show and <laughs> really to us. And uh, also and, uh, fuck off. And fuck off. And I'm at Corn Diddy on all the things. Please I'm go tell me to fuck off. I'm at Kelsey Darrow on all the things. Don't tell me to fuck off. I'm at Garrett Bernard on all the things. And if you tell me to fuck off, I'll fight you. Hey. <laughs> and we'll see you next week for turkey season. Garrett, what are we watching next week? We're watching 
Over the Garden Wall. <laughs> okay, leave us with that. We don't know what it is. No one of it. Garrick's faves. I uh, it's a post spooky it. month spooky bonus. Yeah, we're doing I like it. That. We should announce what we're gonna watch. We before we, we, on this episode that's the intention i normally don't have my shit together enough but we're we have our shit you got support here yeah. all right great all right next week we're watching over the garden over wall. the garden wall and you know what dear audience mm. dill dear dill <laughs> <Sorry, not> <laughs> <Dildos. laughs> yeah, dear call them guilty whores dear trash babies <laughs> yeah can i keep you ew 